I definitely think global refugee policy exists, but I think there are a different number of policy areas within forced migration studies. Policy areas that can operate in tandem, in parallel, and in different ways. So for example, when we look at IDP protection, protection of internally displaced persons, people who have been forced to flee their own homes but remain within their own state, we see a much different policy agenda than with regard to refugees. Refugees are of course protected by UNHCR and by the Refugee Convention. IDPs, by contrast, don't have the similar formal protections. They're protected by the guiding principles on internal displacement, which are a soft law set of guiding principles, but based in international humanitarian human rights law and analogous refugee law. Those principles have been brought into hard law in some countries and also in some regions, most notably through the Kampala Convention in Africa, which has brought the, Af uh, the guiding principles into regional hard law. But there are other aspects of policy around IDPs that is much less formal. So, for example, the main way of responding to IDPs and providing them with humanitarian assistance and protection is through what's called the cluster approach. Now, the cluster approach doesn't have a single agency, UN or otherwise, assigned to it. Rather, you see a series of distinct agencies assigned as cluster leads, as they're called, across 11 different issue areas. So assistance, camp management, protection, even water and sanitation are each seen as individual clusters. That means whereas refugee policy has a very distinct actor playing a key role, that of UNHCR, across IDP policy we see a range of different actors being able to input into the policy process and input their own ideas. Unfortunately, that leads to a greater degree of ad hocness to policy. Policies make a bit less sense and are a bit less implemented. Further, leadership becomes much more crucial. Key people who can make bridges across these individual clusters, who can work with different organizations, become critical. I think leadership is less important, though still relevant, in an area where you have much more clearly defined policy agendas, like with regards to refugee protection.